If you look at the top two here, Michelle Bachman followed by Ron Paul, um, you could argue that the polls are showing those are among the two that do the worst put up against President Obama. In the end, aren't Republicans going to go for the person they think is strongest up against Obama? I don't know how you make that calcula calculation. Well, the polls are one way. Well, the polls are one way. Well, the polls are one way. Got to be electable, right? That's the next step. Well, that's you got to kind of look and say, yeah, and who's got the best chance? Right, electability. You know, if you look at the results of this poll, number three out. Okay, so Tim Pawlenty goes back home to Minnesota. So the top two finishers were Ron Paul and Michelle Bachman, both of whom are among the worst performing when you put them in a head-to-head. -head. Right against President Obama. So, do, do you, I mean, is that how you, you all see it breaking down? We're not, we, there are now three people, three uh, people that we think have a reasonable chance of winning both the nomination and a general election, and that is, it's now down to Romney, Dick Perry, and Michelle Bachman. And in the end, Neil, electability is it. You say all you want yeah, about yeah. great visions for America and say all you want about great visions for America and say all you want about great visions for America. An idea whose time has come cannot be stopped by any army or any government.